Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, August 12th. In 1851, a German immigrant, Isaac Singer, receives the U.S. patent for the first practical and successful sewing machine in New York. In 1867, President Andrew Johnson defies Congress and suspends Secretary of War Edwin Stanton and appoints General Grant to replace him. This act would set the stage for Johnson's impeachment. In 1877, on this date, inventor Thomas Edison is said to have completed his first version of the phonograph, the first device that could record sound using tinfoil cylinders. In 1883, due to drastic overhunting, at the Amsterdam Zoo, the last known quagga, a zebra species, dies in captivity. In 1908, the beginning of a new era in autos, at the Paquette Avenue plant in Detroit, the first Model T Ford is assembled and rolls off the assembly line. It would go on sale October 1st. In 1955, passed by Congress and signed by President Eisenhower, the 1955 amendment under the Fair Labor Standards Act is passed, becoming law, raising the minimum wage to $1 an hour. In 1974, in Cooperstown, New York, Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford, Cool Papa Bell, Jocko Conlon, Jim Bottomley, and Sam Thompson are inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1981, selling for just over $1,500, IBM introduces its first personal computer, called the IBM Model 5150. It ran on Microsoft's MS-DOS operating system. In 1985, a Japan Airlines Flight 123 en route from Tokyo to Osaka runs into problems and crashes into Mount Takamagahara, northwest of Tokyo. 520 people were killed, and it was one of the worst single-plane accidents in history. And in 1994, after failing to reach agreements on labor terms, MLB players go on strike, ending the baseball season. After 232 days, owners and players would reach an agreement in April 1995. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a nice week. Be safe out there, and bless up.